If you've been wondering how to get the best performance and settings for Fortnite, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll guide you through the exact settings that pros use to dominate the game. From graphics tweaks to control adjustments, I'll help you level up your gameplay and make every match feel like your best one yet. So if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Let's get started. If you want to save your time, you can download this pack of game users settings from my website. In this pack, I have put the game files according to each PC, whether your PC is high-end, low-end, or mid-end. In these files, I have already applied all the settings according to your PCs, so if you want to save your time, then go download this pack from the website and paste the game user settings in their right place. Let's move on to the manual settings. Start by typing percent local app data percent into your search bar. If nothing shows up, don't worry. Simply open the run dialog by pressing Windows plus R on your keyboard, then type percent local app data percent and hit enter. Once the folder opens, press the letter F on your keyboard to quickly locate the Fortnite game folder. Open it, then navigate to Saved Config Windows Client. Inside, you'll find a file called Game User Settings INI. Before making any changes, right-click on the file, select Properties, and ensure the Read Only box is unchecked. If it's checked, you won't be able to edit the settings, so make sure to apply the changes before proceeding. Here are the best settings. Cosmetic Streaming Enabled. Set this to Disabled. While it has been in the Epic Games Launcher for a while, it is now directly accessible in your game configuration file. Making this change in the config is more efficient and streamlined. Motion Blur. Make sure to turn this off. It doesn't provide any performance benefits and can make visuals harder to track during intense gameplay. Showgrass. This is mostly a placebo effect. You can safely turn it off to avoid unnecessary rendering. GPU Crash. Debugging. Set this to False. Even if it's disabled in the in-game settings, enabling it here may still affect your FPS. Stop rendering in background. Keep this set to false to ensure rendering continues if you alt-tab or switch out of the game. Temporal Super Resolution Quality. Set this to custom and make sure all options are at zero to achieve the lowest possible settings for better performance. Front End Frame Limit. For mid to high tier PCs, set this to 120 FPS. For lower end PCs, set it to 60 FPS to maintain stable gameplay. Display Gamma. Leave this at the default value to avoid unnecessary FPS drops caused by incorrect gamma settings. Auto Launch. Full Game. Set this to false if you don't use Save the World. This prevents the game from launching it automatically, saving time and resources. Allow Download High Res Textures. Set this to false to enhance performance by avoiding unnecessary high-resolution texture downloads. Allow video playback. If you enjoy watching cutscenes, set this to true. Otherwise, set it to false if you find them distracting or unnecessary. Adjust resolution. Choose the resolution that matches your PC's capabilities. V-Sync. Set this to false unless you are using a low-performance PC and need it to reduce screen tearing. Audio quality. Set this to 1 for low quality audio, which can slightly improve FPS. Frame rate limits. Choose a frame rate limit that is one option above your monitor's refresh rate for smoother gameplay. Ensure ray tracing is turned off and set all other adjustable options to zero for the best performance. Once you've made all these changes, save the file and make it read only to prevent Epic Games or Rethens from overwriting your settings. Now guys, we will do some important NVIDIA settings that can help us to reduce lag and stutters in game. Right click on your desktop and click on NVIDIA control panel. Open adjust image settings with preview in your GPU control panel. Select use my preference. Emphasizing and drag the slider all the way to performance. This optimizes your settings for better FPS by prioritizing speed over visual quality. Once done, click Apply to save the changes. Next, switch to use the advanced 3D image settings and click Apply again to ensure the settings are fully updated. Finally, click Take Me There, which will redirect you to the Manage 3D Settings tab, where you can fine tune your GPU settings for Fortnite or any other game. Here's a detailed breakdown of the settings you should adjust. Ambient occlusion, set this to off. It's a visual feature that adds depth but can significantly impact FPS. Anisotropic filtering and anti-aliasing. Turn all related options off to reduce the load on your GPU. Background application, max frame rate. Set this to off to ensure that background apps don't consume unnecessary GPU resources. 
CUDA GPUs. Select all to allow your system to use all available GPU cores for better performance. DSR factors. Turn this off to avoid downscaling, which can impact FPS. Low latency mode. Set this to on. This helps reduce input lag, providing a more responsive gaming experience. However, avoid using ultra as it may cause instability in some games. Max frame rate. Keep this off. If you need to limit FPS, it's better to do so in the game's settings rather than globally. Multi-frame sampled AA, MFAA. Turn this off for optimal performance. Open GL. Rendering GPU. Make sure this is set to your specific GPU, not auto, to avoid any performance bottlenecks. Power management mode. Choose prefer maximum performance to ensure your GPU is always running at its best during gameplay. Shader cache. Set this to unlimited. This will help improve long-term performance by reusing compiled shaders. Texture filtering, anisotropic sample optimization. Set this to on for faster rendering without noticeable quality loss. Texture filtering, negative LOD bias. Set this to allow to enhance texture clarity in some cases. Texture filtering quality, choose high performance to prioritize FPS over image quality. Threaded optimization, Set this to auto. However, you can experiment with this on a per game basis to see if enabling it improves performance. Triple buffering, turn this off. It's not necessary unless you're using V-Sync, which is not recommended here. Vertical sync, V-Sync. Set this to off unless your system struggles to maintain stable FPS. If your FPS frequently dips below 60, consider enabling it. Once you've adjusted all these settings, click apply to save the changes. These tweaks ensure your system is fully optimized for performance, giving you a competitive edge in Fortnite and other games. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Disabling the High Precision Event Timer can help improve FPS and overall system performance by reducing unnecessary resource usage. To disable it, first open Device Manager by searching for it in the Windows search bar and selecting it. Once open, expand the System Devices section and locate High Precision Event Timer. Right-click on it and select Disable Device from the menu, then confirm by clicking Yes. After disabling it, test your performance in Fortnite or other games to see if it results in a boost in FPS and smoother gameplay. In my experience, it tends to improve overall performance. Guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Bye.